All right, guys, this is the last part of the video of how to set up a dirty tank. The We're done here. Stomach. I know, sad, brings tears to my eyes. All right, the whole thing's done, filled up, ready to go. Setup's the last part. Here it is. We have a filter, heater, and uh, I got a little aquascape going there. Just change it, give you a little something to look at. Um, but we're going to explain to you why you need a kind of setup tank already to get it going because even though there's no fish or anything else in it, John will explain it to you. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of ammonia in your tank. So definitely if you're going to use uh, dirt, no matter what type of dirt it is, you don't want to put any fish in it for at least a week or two. Um, so right now, his water is filling up with ammonia. We have two filters running. This is the filter cartridge we showed you earlier. It's brand new. This one is not. And this is from my old shrimp tank. I took the liberty of taking the carbon out of it myself about a year ago. Um, so this sucker is seeded and loaded with a bunch of beneficial bacteria that's hopefully going to get onto this sucker all in a week or so. Absolutely. If not, it might take a, another week. But that's yeah. what else we're going to say. So probably, probably leave it in there for about a week, probably two weeks just to be safe. Um, but like I said, there's going to be a lot of ammonia leaching up from the soil. So that's going to simulate having a bunch of fish in your aquarium, but you don't have to worry about killing all your fish. So yeah. that's going to seed everything. It's probably going to help his cycle go a little bit quicker than yours might if you're using a brand new filter. But um, if you don't have a seeded filter already, definitely set up the current filter that you have and let it start to get seeded. Because all that ammonia is going to start the, um, the beneficial bacteria cycle. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is every day uh once or twice a day probably not any more than that because you want the water to get loaded with all those nutrients um the nutrients are going to seep up from the soil into the water column you want to do as big of a water change as possible you get new water in there definitely dechlorinate it so that you don't kill all the beneficial bacteria that your filters are having use your prime people or get safe remember use that stuff it's the best It'll keep you going for a while. Dechlorinate the water with Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Prime is a great value um, for the amount of water that dechlorinates. It's a lot better than all the products by API. Um, Safe is made by the same company as Prime, but it's in a powder form. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but it does a lot more volume in terms of uh, how much water dechlorinates. So uh, what we're going to do is for about a week here, we're going to have Josh bring the water down to about 90%. Uh, he's going to put that plate back in here that we showed you before. He's going to fill it back up every day with the chlorinated water. And uh, towards the end of the week, he's going to check his, uh, his ammonia levels. And once it starts to level off, that's when you know you're ready to add fish. Yeah, and I want to make this the last part because I want you people to remember this. The heater. You need the heater in there, so it's going to help the beneficial bacteria because if the water gets too cold or too warm, depending on wherever you are and you're doing this, like Florida, um, you need them to live. So put a heater in there. Keep it at 78 degrees. Also, remember this. If you're going to do the water changes, take out and turn off the heater because if you let the heater run with no water in it, it's going to fry and It'll overheat. yeah and then you have a broken heater and you're gonna be angry because you wasted your money yeah, so Matt's ex-girlfriend let that happen she left the heater up above the water line while she was doing water change that's why she's an ex yep and it <laughs> burned down you know you, you can't let your girlfriend burn out your heaters that's when they turn to ex-girlfriends exactly yeah so he's gonna do that for about a week and um we'll let you guys know what's going on about then we'll give you an update and um we're gonna attempt to get three to four videos in every week uh, right now we're all together, so yeah. we're going to try to do one collab video with the three of us every week. Probably every two weeks uh, would be more accurate because uh, Josh lives 45 minutes away from us. But, yeah. Uh, but, we're you know. We're uploading videos individually throughout the week. So. It's good. So, yeah, uh, we decided to go under the name of JMJ Tanks, uh, Initial Us, and then Tanks. So, figured that would be a good name. If you're ever looking through us for videos or... Yeah, Jose, Jermaine, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Matthew over there so Matthew you actually got him to be Matthew but <laughs> I'm the the anyway so yeah JMJ tanks that'll be our uh, subscriber name uh, you guys look up our videos you want to find up stuff but remember ask us any questions about anything dirty tanks directed towards these two guys they're the experts on it right now but if you want to hear new stuff or you want us to go over things that you think you really want to know or you want to learn about let us know, leave them in the comments, respond to us any way possible through that stuff. Salt water, we're really not too good on, but we've all kept a lot of planted tanks. Uh, me and Matt, we've had a couple dirted tanks, so uh, any kind of questions you have, definitely ask us. Uh, we'll get back to you in the comments, or um, we can give you a video response. So.
Anything else to say, Matt, before we go? No, I think you guys got it. Definitely wear pink hats. Wear pink, orange hats, support the Spurs. Yeah, I suppose. All right, later.